The Gonzaga student section widely known as one of the most dedicated student sections. Well, in a typical year, students will tent before games, but now with COVID-19 restrictions, things look a lot different. This year, there have been zero students in the kennel, but our Brianna Vasquez tells us how the kennel club board is now working to bring that Zag magic back to campus. Watching games in the kennel is a rite of passage for Gonzaga students. Picking out your best blue and red Zags gear, grabbing some popcorn chicken, and settling in shoulder to shoulder with 1,200 of your closest friends. Now that's a night in the kennel. The Zag student section is notoriously known nationwide as one of the loudest student sections. When visiting teams play in the McCarthy Athletic Center, they know it's going to be hectic. The madness even starts before the game with stomping the zombie nation then becomes constant chants and cheering for every basket in Corey Kispert 3. But this year, the craziness of the kennel stopped, and the silence was deafening. It was up to the Kennel Club board to try and bring that game time magic back to campus. With that need came the idea for Tent City, the remix. It's a take on the usual Tent City, but with a COVID safety twist. Coming into this year, I just wanted to like con extend, like, continue that tradition. Um, even though it's a completely out of the ordinary year. In a normal basketball season, when it's a Tent City game, the Kennel Club will send out a tweet of where to go on campus to get your number for Tent City. Well, that tweet gets sent out at the strike of 12:15, and a usually calm campus turns into utter chaos. You can see students sprinting all over Bulldog Alley to try to get their place in line in hopes of getting tent number one. Securing tent number one means you get to stand front row in the student section and be up close with the game. ESPN front row. Now this week, a Kennel Club game tweet went out for the first time in over a year to give the Zags a chance to watch a game together. In the tweet was a registration for Tent City the remix. Within at least two minutes, all spots were claimed. With COVID restrictions, only 35 of what would be tent spots are available to groups of six. For those lucky enough to secure a spot, setup starts at 2.30 p.m. on Saturday on Foley Field. All spots will be 10 feet apart and everyone will be asked to stay within their individual group. In normal Tent City fashion, individually wrapped breakfast burritos and hot chocolate will be provided. And to add to the magic of students cheering on the Zags together, there will be guest performances from the Gonzaga cheer team, bomb squad, and dance team. At tip-off of 6.20 p.m., the game will be projected on a 26-foot screen. It was a long road to get here. The approval process started in February, but the Kennel Board Tent City coordinator says it was all worth it finally being able to like come together as a group obviously not as big as we would want um and like everyone can't be there but at, at least it's something to do uh where that gonzaga spirit can be just like influctuated throughout campus in a season unlike any other for the first time in over a year zags can finally cheer on their team together in the big dance brianna vasquez crime 2 news